Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. I recently purchased a pair of monolith 24 inch speaker stands for the Clips 5s. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing. We're gonna fill this with sand so that we can kind of solidify the units and uh, kind of eliminate some resonances. And we'll get the five set up in here and we'll show you how it looks. Now, before we dive into the video, if you are passionate about home theater, audio and video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I produce weekly content, usually two to three videos a week that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Now, enough talking, let's get to unboxing. All right, so here we have each one of the speaker stands. So they come shipped separately. And so these are pretty affordable. I, I just did some, you know, searching on Amazon, looking for some, you know, some reasonably priced speaker stands that I could use to set up in the bedroom setup here. So I thought we'd go ahead and kind of document the process of that, kind of see what these are all about. So inside we got, that feels like the base plate there. And that might just be some extra cardboard. Nope, there's some hardware in there. Even says hardware inside. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So that's gonna be all our screws. We've got some foot spikes and then just large screws. We'll set those back here. Go ahead and take out well, let's just see if we can slide it out. Looks like it's just taped right there. Yeah, cool. So these just slide out. Some of the tape causes the inside to kind of stick to it. And there we go. Take that off to the side. And we've got all kinds of hardware in here. So this is going to be the top plate here. We'll get that, we'll get a close up of the installation here in a minute. So let's go ahead and take everything out. Man, that base plate's heavy. I like that. Man, I can already feel that that's just got just a nice thickness to it. Man, build quality actually looks really, really nice. Made in Taiwan, if that matters to you guys. Let's see what else it says here. It says, thank you for your order. Yada, yada, yada. If you got any questions, call tech support. We don't need tech support for speaker stands. So we got one little hollow tube. Like I said, we'll be filling that with sand. So we'll just lay that down here for now. Here's a second. A third. And a fourth. That is it. Cool, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna assemble one of these. I'll kind of get down here on the ground, make it a little bit easier for you guys to see the process. I won't do the second one. Um, it'll be the same process. So we'll just set this off to the side and let's get to work. Okay, so here we have our components. We've got our base plate, our top plate, all four of our columns, and then some miscellaneous hardware screws and the uh, floor spikes and a little Allen wrench. So if we look at the top of this, it's got a single screw. So that's going to line up with each one of these. And then on the bottom, we've got two screws. So we're gonna flip this upside down. And then what we'll end up doing is putting this on top like that, feeding the screws through the bottom and tightening them down. So we're gonna use the large screws in this B section. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these screws. This is the large one. I'm gonna put this base at the bottom. Feed one of the screws through. Line it up with the hole. It's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see. All right, there we go. So I've got one started. So there you can see. Go ahead and just kind of hand tighten that down. Grab another screw, line it up. Just like that. Then you can either take a cordless, corded drill, cordless drill. All right, tighten that down. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and do the other four. Fast forward the video. All right, so I've got all four 
columns in place. Now all we gotta do, tighten these up. Now before we finish assembling, I'm just gonna take this large Phillips head screwdriver and just kind of tighten these down. If you're using a cordless screwdriver, you may not get them quite as tight as you want it. So as you can see, I can turn these a few notches tighter. And that way they're just nice and secure. All right, now even without the sand in these, these actually have a really, really nice weight to them. So once we add the sand, it's gonna get even heavier. All right, guys, sorry about the poor lighting. I was gonna take this outside underneath the sunshine, but since I live in Florida, it's raining. So we're in my garage. So I just picked up a bag of sand, clay sand from Lowe's. And so the only thing I wanna see though is, is this sand moist? You know, like, is it wet? And honestly, that does feel wet. So I'm gonna use some different sand. Basically, if you wanna use this, I would recommend laying it out on a tarp, putting that out in the sun and just kind of letting it dry. Um, but I really don't wanna put kind of damp, wet sand in here. Um, so I've got some dry sand that's been sitting in here for a while. So let me grab that real quick. So here I've got some sand from a previous hurricane that we had a couple years ago. So this is completely dry. So it's just really, really, really fine sand. So I've got a, like a little filter here, not a filter, a funnel, but I think we can do it just with this little cup. So I'm not gonna bore you with details on filling all of these up, but I'm just gonna fill it pretty much up to the top. And when we get done, we'll take them back inside and we'll put the uh, top plates on and we'll get our speakers mounted. All right, so I have three of these filled with sand and one of them is not. So before I fill the fourth one up with sand, I just wanna kinda do a little test so you can hear. So this is the one without the sand in it. You can hear how it just resonates for a long time. Let's check the one with sand. Absolutely no, no reverberation whatsoever. So that's awesome. That's exactly what we want to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and get this fourth one filled up. We'll take them inside and we'll get the top plates installed. All right, so as you can see, I've got the sand in all four columns. I didn't fill it completely up to the top because I don't want it to spill in the house and get all in the carpet but we're gonna go ahead and get this taken inside and then we'll get the top plate mounted. All right, and the last step is we just need to install these top plates. So you can see here, this is a little bevel. So we're gonna put that facing down, line those up on the holes. I'm probably gonna have to do these one at a time, kind of line them up. So I'm just gonna get it started. I'm gonna come over on this other side and you're gonna have to Kind of push the post from the bottom to kind of line them up. And that one feels, let's try it right there. For some reason, that one does not want to go in. So I'm gonna try another one. Hopefully it's not stripped or anything. So that one went in fine. Third one's good. And let's try this one one more time. There we go, good deal. So then we just take our Allen wrench that's included with the set, crank these four down, and we can add our speakers. Now, since I have carpet in my room, I am going to use these included floor spikes. So we're gonna flip this upside down So here we have the included floor spikes. So I'm gonna raise this all the way up. And that way we can screw these all the way down to the top part of the base here. So that's all the way flush. And then we'll take these nuts and tighten those down. Now you can use the nut to raise and lower the spikes so that you can level these. 
So if you find that it's a little wobbly, maybe your floor is a little bit uneven, you can adjust these spikes so that it'll sit flush on your floor. Now again, if you've got hardwood floors or even you know, tile, I would not recommend using spikes. Definitely this would be good just for carpet. And so this would be great for my setup. So we're gonna flip it over. Monolith has also included these little pads here. So you can pull these off and just stick them. Um, I guess there's several places you could put them. You could put them on top of these screws here or you could put them in the corners here. I guess it depends on what you want to do. I'm going to put them in the corners because that's still going to place it higher than these screws. So it's not going to run the risk of scratching my speakers. Just like that. The speaker stands are large enough to handle a small bookshelf speaker like the Klipsch 5 or a much larger bookshelf speaker like the Klipsch RB61 version 2. So these speaker stands come in 24 inches, 28 inches, and 32 inch sizes. The base dimensions are 12 inches by 9.9 .9 inches. The top plate dimension is 8.5 inches by 6 inches. Each speaker weighs 19 pounds without sand and costs $55 each. Now the pros I see in these speaker stands is they're very affordable, very sturdy steel construction, the spikes are included, and it supports pretty large speakers up to 75 pounds. The only thing that might be a con is there's no cable management for your speaker cables, but then again, a lot of speaker stands don't have that anyway. So what I'll likely do is just take some cable ties to the back side of one of the posts and run my cables down that to keep it nice and tidy. Now, if you're interested in the Monoprice speaker stands, I'll post links down in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.